Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to teach you how to design primers and here's our problem, design 5 nucleotide primers to copy highlighted fragments. So we have to make a copy of this fragment. First of all let's separate this double stranded DNA and now we have one strand of the DNA and another complementary strand of the DNA. The first source of your mistake would be that we have to design primers that would be complementary to the sequence that is outside of our fragment of our interest. This is the first mistake because if we want to make a copy of this fragment then our primers have to be within this fragment and have to be a part of this fragment. Rule number one, in order to design forward primer we have to start with 5 prime end. So in our two strands of the DNA we see that bottom strand start here with 3 prime. So let me underline it 3 prime end. That means that our complementary strand start with 5 prime end and our primers 5 prime end have to be here and guanine with pair with cytosine, cytosine with guanine, zymine with adenine, adenine with zymine and zymine with adenine. So this is going to be and here we are going to have three prime end and new strand are going to grow in this direction. And as you see new strands three prime end are going to be here. So forward Primer sequence is going to be 5 prime end C G A T A and 3 prime end. As for the reverse primer sequence, again, new strand of the DNA only grows from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So 5 prime end of the primer is going to be here, and the first base is going to be cytosine, then guanine, then thymine, then adenine and adenine. So we have five base pairs. So one, two, three, four, five. And new strand of the DNA is going to grow in this direction. Now it is important not to make a mistake when we write a reverse primer sequence. We are not starting with 3 prime end and go into the direction of 5 prime end. We start again with 5 prime end, so 5 prime end. And this primer first position is going to be here. Here is going to be second, third, fourth and fifth position. So let's write down 5 prime end C, G, T, A, a and 3 prime end. And some of you may wonder what about these overhangs here and here. These artifacts might be present but in very small quantities. For example 0.0001% of all our product in PCR can be the product with such overhangs, but 99.99999% of our PCR product are going to be just this fragment highlighted with green. As a result of say 25-30 cycles of the PCR, we still are going to have these two original strands, just two. We are going to have about 30 strands with this overhangs and the rest billions of copies we are going to have only copies of this fragment. So as you see this artifacts represent just negligible uh, amount of total replicated DNA. So this artifacts even wouldn't be visible if you run gel electrophoresis afterwards. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.